This is Tara from Simple Day, and I'm on a mission to make productivity simple using monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are below in the description of this video, so feel free to reach out. Today, I wanted to show you how you can duplicate automations if you need to use them on other boards. Now, before I show you how to use the template that monday.com created, which you can use, I do wanna say, if you know you have boards that are very similar, and sometimes it could be a very complicated process and they're very similar. I really would start with creating one board. You have all of your automations and then you just duplicate the board. That's actually a little bit easier, but it's not relevant in every case. So if possible, have one board, make all your automations and just duplicate it. That could work for some specific cases. Now I want to show you how you can create an automation and use it as a template. So what I normally do is I usually have a completed group on a lot of my boards. So just so you can move the tasks when they're completed. So I'm going to go to automate and I'm going to create a custom automation that says when status changes to something. So I will change my blog status changes to done, then move item to group. And I'm going to move it to my completed group. I'm going to hit create automation. And now I have this automation. So if we would go back to the board, we would see that this would work. Now, if I click on these three dots right here, I can click as save as template. So I just need to rename my template. So I'm going to do completed items, move to completed group. I'm going to hit create template. So now what I have is if I would go to the automation center and I scroll all the way down to the bottom, if I want to add a automation, you can see here that I have my template and I could just use this one again. Now I do need to set the status. So let's say I'll do this time YouTube. When YouTube changes to done, then move item to completed group. So you can see that you have a template that you can use and you can use this, this template also on other boards. If I would go to a different board, I can use the same, same template. You are going to have to fill in some information. Um, as you saw, when I went to do the YouTube, this was, this was grayed out a little bit. So you do need to enter that information, but the basic template is there. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like it below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe below so you can get tips and tricks on how to use monday.com.